वेलकम बैक लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट द इटियोलॉजी अकॉर्डिंग टू डिफरेंट स्टडीज एरिकनट इज द मेन इटियोलॉजिकल फैक्टर फॉर ओ एस एम एफ अदर इटियोलॉजिकल फैक्टर्स आर चिलीज लाइम टोबैको न्यूट्रिशनल डिफिशियंसिस सच एस आयरन एंड जिंक इम्यूनोलॉजिक डिजॉर्डर्स एंड कोलाजन डिजॉर्डर्स लेट्स डिस्कस वन बाई वन डू यू नो वॉट्स द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एरिकनट एंड बेटलनट we use these two terms interchangeably but there is a slight difference between areca nut and betel nut let me explain the term areca nut is used to denote the unhusked whole fruit of the areca nut tree and the term betel nut is used exclusively to refer to the inner kernel or seed which is obtained after removing the husk so here we can see that areca nut produce alkaloids which have psychotropic and antihelminthic properties mainly four types of alkaloids have been identified such as aricoline aricadine guvacin and guvacoline these alkaloids have powerful parasympathetic action nitrosation of aricoline leads to the formation of aricanate specific nitrosamine metabolism of these aricanate specific nitrosamine lead to the formation of cyanoethyl which binds with the o methyl guanine in dna prolonged exposure of this irritant leads to malignant transformation betel nut chewer commonly used areca nut and slake lime mixture in a habitual chewer oral submucous fibrosis may be caused by the amount of tannic acid content in the betel nut this mixture of tannic acid and calcium hydroxide affects vascular supply of oral mucosa and causing neurotrophic disorder addition of calcium hydroxide to areca nut in pan facilitates hydrolysis of aricoline to aricadine which is more potent fridge dried products such as pan masala gutka mawa have higher concentrations of areca nut per chew and appear to cause oral submucous fibrosis more rapidly than by self prepared conventional betel quid which contains a smaller amount of areca nut capsaicin is the active ingredient of chilies which also play an etiologic role in oral submucous fibrosis other causative factors like nutritional deficiency such as vitamin b complex deficiency and defective iron metabolism collagen vascular disease like scleroderma rheumatoid arthritis dupuytres contracture and intestinal fibrosis ESR and serum immunoglobulins like IgA IgG and IgM are significantly raised in this condition that's all about etiologic factor and in the next video we'll discuss about the clinical features and pathogenesis that's all guys if you have enjoyed this video please like comment and share and don't forget to subscribe thank you